Hey everybody, happy Thursday or whatever day it is or time that you are watching this. I hope you're having a great day. I am in California and it is a beautiful 80 degree day and I got to get outside this morning. So I hope that wherever you are, the weather has been great and you have been able to get outside and de-stress. If you're hopping on, be sure to say hey so I can welcome you and let me know where you're tuning in from. Uh, if you're watching this on the replay, put hashtag replay. My question to you today in my Thursday thoughts with everything that is crazy going on in our world today is, uh, and I've seen people posting this already and it's a great question, So, but I can't claim it, is can your business survive a quarantine? And that's a great question that I see going around with a lot of digital marketers. Um, and even network marketers, although many of them are dependent on old school tactics of getting out there and meeting and presenting. Um, but that's a great question for people. So uh, if you're new to the page, I'm Emily Smiley and I'm super passionate about helping others build online with their online skills and automating and leveraging their time, which is super, super, super important uh, really with everything that's going on. Um, I'm, this is going to be a quick live today. I got to go get my kids. They are actually still in school. Thank goodness so far, but literally hourly things have gotten canceled throughout the day and, um, it, it's crazy. I just, uh, honestly, I just believe that, you know, this too will soon pass and I am, uh, you know, I believe in God. And so I am just depending on that. So there's a lot of hype and a lot of fear in the media. Yes, but it's not to discredit um, what is really going on. So um, I, I see a lot of people, you know, in uh, online or even in network marketing, you know, jumping on it, which is is great, but we need to be sensitive to those because just because you may not get it, you don't, you definitely don't want to give it to those who maybe aren't protected, right? So you need to be safe and take it seriously, but at the same time, not feed into, you know, the hype of everything going on because you know, and I didn't fact check this, but somebody said, you know, you're more likely, like more people die daily from a snake bite than total so far from this. But it's the far reaching ramifications, right? Of, of things getting back ordered. And like, if you've tried to get toilet paper, oh my gosh, I had my friend drop it off. So there's lots going on in our world. So, you know, for many people, they're going to be searching for something different. And um, I know a lot of you, like I've been trying to get ready for my kids, probably they're going to be home and quarantined at home. And immediately I was like, okay, well, how am I gonna work my business? It's clearly harder and my kids are not small, so I am able to work from home. And I'm no longer building using old school tactics, um, you know, face to face, so I'm able to connect to people. And for many, they can work from home, right? Like, so it's not a big deal. I, I have lots of friends that are like, oh yeah, I'm just working remotely from home, or I'm taking classes from home, and that's great. But when people's kids start coming home, and for many, they can't. And this is a fear, a logical fear of theirs, the ramifications that we were talking about to be sensitive to, but at the same time, not overlooking the fact that people are going to be searching because if they don't have a backup plan, what are they going to do? They're going to lose money in whatever it is that they're doing. They're going to be home, you know, with their kids. So at the same time, you know, you want to be sensitive, but also not hide your business as you're hiding out, you know, just saying, Hey, you know, I have this side hustle or full time or whatever it is that you are. And not only is it getting me money, I'm able to do it online and make my own hours and do it when my kids are home and and build that way right because for many you know especially in um, you know network marketing I would say if you're building teams uh, a lot of people are gonna be treating this like they do holidays right like a lot of us that have teams know that like December or like that dead of summer when kids are home right production goes Psh, tanks why because those kids are home and there's different there's a difference going on in your day-to-day -day life so every day our day-to-day -day life has been up literally like turned upside down this got canceled this got canceled this got canceled and for the foreseeable future it's going to be that way or it appears to be that way right so you know what can we do in planning or in sharing that because for many when those kids come home they're not going to be working their business. They're going to be glued to the TV. They're going to take it off and, and spend time with their kids, which is great. But for me, it just reminds me uh, that there's an opportunity to be had there because I do build online because I do have a great way where, okay, maybe it's not uh, you know full time for you now. Maybe it's your side gig, but why not get that or build that up? 
you know, because maybe this happens again. Maybe it's something different, right? It, you know, it might not be the Corona next time, but it might be something different, you know? And so people will be looking because that Uber driver is not going to want to drive around picking up possible people, right? People are not going to want to go to the service industry or maybe restaurants or local businesses that literally are going to be losing money because you know, of everyone's day to day and, and being upheavaled, right? So there's a difference between, you know, hiding, hiding out, right? And being quarantined and can your business really survive that? So I read a, a, an article and it's a little crazy, so I got it, but it makes a perfect example. This boy got suspended for selling the pumps of the Purell, the hand sanitizer at school. So he had a big jar or big thing of it, right? And he was selling it by the pumps and they suspended him. I think that's a little harsh. I'm not going to lie. And part of me is like, oh, you know, like I would want to talk to him like, okay, you shouldn't make, right? But then the other part of me, the entrepreneur side was like, wow, okay, he really capitalized on that. That's a smart kid. I want to see that kid in 20 years. Hopefully he's not taking advantage of people, but it just, wow, he saw an opportunity, right? So like I said, there's this fine line of treading between being sensitive to, to problems and, and things that people have going on in their lives, but also, you know, understanding that they're going to have ramifications and they might decide, Hey, I need a plan B here, or, you know, I can't, I don't want to drive for Uber. I don't want to be driving around for there. I have lots of people that I know that drive for Uber, right? And now they're not, um, and, or they're quarantined or they're home or, you know, whatever the case may be. So, you know, being mindful of that, just like the little boy was saying that, you know, with the, with the Purell pumps, it's like, okay, he saw an opportunity. And even though, you know, he was suspended for taking advantage of it, which I do not condone, uh, his mindset behind it, he, I telling you, I want to see that kid in like 10 years, seriously. Hey, if you're just popping on, let me know, say, Hey, um, so I can give you a shout out. So it, let's talk about network marketing specifically. All right. So, um, I built really hardcore in my last company for, uh, for many years and I did okay, but not as big as I wanted to because I looked at, you know, some of, uh, my mentors and although I totally respected them building old school, I did not really want to trade with them. Um, I saw burnout. I saw, you know, like I literally was hanging out with some and they had to disappear to do three way calls. I'm like, you can't even like hang out by the pool and they couldn't, they really couldn't. Um, and what, ironically, like we're there to learn how to build digitally, which was kind of funny. So I'm hoping that they're not having to build that way. But my point is, is you might say, I already have that like side gig. I already am in uh, direct sales or network marketing or what, even affiliate or whatever it is. But if you haven't learned the skills to build online, then maybe this is an opportunity for you, even though you're not that Uber driver who's losing money or that local business brick and mortar, you might say, you know what? Like my business is still dependent on home parties or my business is still dependent on, you know, doing presentations or coffee one-on-one -on -one dates or, you know, that old school mentality. Maybe I could take this time if I'm home with my kids or I'm, you know, quarantined, right? Um, and I say quarantine meaning like stay home like they're telling us to do in building my skill sets, right? Because the, the opportunity is there. And so if you are the first, you know, maybe you're looking for that side income that you can, or maybe you're the latter and you already have that side income, but you really want to develop the skill sets so that if you were worst case scenario, stuck at home for like a month, you really could present yourself, your presentations via webinars because you've already got those systems in place. You can, you know, have messenger chats with everyone. Like it doesn't slow you down at all. And if you already have those, then I highly encourage you not to hide out and stay glued to the TV, but honestly to do the opposite of that and to really put the pedal to the metal in moving your business forward because people are going to be looking. Um, and I've heard many say this. This is not a new message. I've heard many. Um, I heard Eric Worre give something on it. I've heard the Meltons give something on it. Um, a couple of my mentors, like uh, it's not a new message, but it's so true. And we're all, we've all been thinking these, right? So, um, you know, I'm glad that the U S is, is not waiting like Europe is in, in putting these, um, you know, quarantines or whatever in place. My husband's a fireman in California and, you know, he's on the front lines of this. And so I, I'm appreciative to that, but I also have the perspective 
of yes, I'm going to be sensitive and yes, I know that there's larger, you know, problems, but I don't want to live in that fear. So that's my thoughts today as far as like don't live in fear, but be smart at this at the same time, right? Learn the skills, share your business, share your opportunity. Um, if you're home, it's a perfect time to develop your skills if you've got some extra time with your family. Um, if you're already in, really to develop those skills in building online. And if you're already building online, you know, be sensitive. I see people like blaring like, this is why I have my home business, like in people's faces. And that's not going to be helpful either, right? Because people don't want to hear that. They're like, you're just literally like rubbing their nose in it. So being sensitive to that. Um, but also understanding that people are going to be open to other options. And this is a great time for you to extend that arm and sharing with them instead of hiding out at your home uh, because, you know, your kids may or may not be in school. So don't hide out. Share. Share your business. Share your opportunity. Share how you're building online the simple things that you're doing so that you don't have to depend on those old school, you know, methods. Um, and honestly, just learn the skill sets that are involved in building online. If you feel stuck in your business, feel free to reach out. I'd love to um, chat more with you about it. I gotta go get my kids um, from school still, uh, but I hope that you guys um, don't live in fear, but stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Hope you're having a great day. See ya.